I'm going to do a quick little video here on the uh, next gen dozer display. Uh, real nice and simple interface. Uh, some of the information that you see on it here is going to be uh, starting from left to right. 2.6% is going to be my main false slope of what the tracks are at. On the right side here, it is what the cross slope of what the tracks are at. So I'm leaning at a 2.5% to the right right now. Um, you've got all the, the normal gauges, fuel, def, um, uh, hydraulic temperature, transmission, transmission temperature, and coolant temperature. So within this uh, display, there is a slope assist feature. So to get that, you're going to go up to the menu in the upper right hand corner, and then you are going to go to slope assist. And then what it does is you can actually have a locked in percentage here. So you can go up or down on that. So let's just say I had a, a road that was a 2% and I just wanted to hold that slope at 2% and then I'm controlling my up and down elevation at that point. So you can switch slopes to the left or the right by pushing that little button right there. This 2.3 is what my blade is actually at. So if I move my blade here, you can see that the slope is actually changing with it as well. So it does have an auto function here. You can kind of see that this is actually uh, uh, push and carry. Uh, but now I can hit the auto function. And if I put it actually in gear, you can see that it actually goes into auto and now it holds my blade at, at 2%. Uh, the only uh, caveat to this system is once I start giving it input to change that slope, it's gonna lock it at that slope. So it's not going to um, stay at this pre-desired slope. So you can run up and down on it and it's gonna hold that slope no matter what. As soon as you give it any other input, it's gonna change that slope. So, but it is a nice feature once you start to get used to it and you understand the system, you can go up and down and it's gonna hold a 2% slope no matter how the tractor sits on the ground. So um, try it out. Uh, tell me what you think of it.